The encrypted incantations on these files have been dispelled. You can now read them at your leisure. Except for one register, on which the curse is too cumbersome to remove. May I inquire, Doctor, why you suddenly went silent a moment ago? Perplexed? Not quite. I'm just trying to think of a faster way to solve the puzzle program that Mechanist left. However, his ingenious design is providing me with fresh inspiration for my own incantation weaving. Would you like to join the contest as well, Doctor? Mist kisses the traveler's lips, while water ripples caress the soul. Such is life in the Convallis. Do you still have any other unanswered questions? Uh, what is a hostess? <clears throat> By the looks of things, you've already met those enthusiastic sisters of mine. Regarding that traditional title of Lord of the Banshees, it is not something I reject altogether. The power of language comes from rules and restraints, not from arbitrary imagination. Only by imposing constraints upon yourself can you make progress in the incantation arts. Master this, and overnight, your knowledge of incantations will surpass the innate talent afforded to our kind. The myriad souls have long departed, but our souls still must find rest. If the deceased require guidance on their journey to the other side, then I am willing to become the ferryman of the sarcasm, of my countrymen on this great land. Indeed, I'm far from capable of singing an elegy for every departed compatriot, but I will not give up. The prophecy that frightened the king of Sarkaz? Now that Amia and Rhodes Island have overcome the past, the flame of hope to conquer fate still burns. Doctor, I hereby swear that as long as I am here, we shall never be slaves to that prophecy. Did you notice, Doctor? Indeed, the decorations on my uniform are incantations engraved by my own two hands. It is difficult for normal fabrics to contain such power, so I could only seek help from my colleagues in the logistics department, who painstakingly modified the textiles of the Convallis. The nightcap I intend to give you is also made through similar methods. I additionally engraved it with an incantation to help you sleep. After learning the truth of what happened back then, you've sought out many of our colleagues, so I figured it was only a matter of time until you'd come looking for me. What do I think? I harbor no hatred for you, Doctor. Amia mentioned to me that you're being haunted by nightmares. I can dispel them for you. The same incantation can be interpreted as desired, manifesting its effect in a thousand different ways. If words have countless interpretations, so do names. Doctor, were you to add your name to this incantation, what do you think it would invoke? I'm eager to find out. A blindfold? No need. This banshee's crown is enough to cover my eyes and help me sleep, as it contains an incantation forbidding those who would touch. Uh, you lost consciousness? Oh, uh, do sleep well, Doctor. Rhodes Island Elite Operator Logos reporting in. I think this procedure calls for some formality, cumbersome as it may be. Doctor, you're not thinking of leaving early again, are you? This battle once offered much inspiration for choreographing my cadence. Sorry to arrive late to such an important occasion. What part are we at now? My face is flushed? Hmm. Looks like there are still some hiccups in the hangover removal incantation I was working on with Mechanist. Cross beyond death and usher in a more just vision.
Elite operators have never been in the business of signing blood oaths, but they invariably dedicate their lives in service to their ideals. The fact that we still stand together after all this time, Doctor, is rare indeed. Questions are destined to be answered. Rules bound to be analyzed. I'm willing to lead. Never mind the use of force. Death has its own resting place. Just as incantations must be restrained, so too must the enemy. Waiting for your call. I hear the elegy. Thus I speak. For them the bell tolls. Veil, the curtain of destiny. Morning Star, the illumination of wisdom. Soul River, the fairy of the other side. Period, the reversal of finality. Join in our celebration, Doctor. Your joy in this moment is enough to embellish my incantations. Every incantation I wrote was utilized by you with not a single word wasted. We make for an excellent team, Doctor. I can still hear their cries in the distance. The wrathful, unable to find peaceful slumber. There will come a day when the dead will know rest. I'm sure of it, Doctor. Retreat. The curtain will cover your tracks. May I use my own office chair? How does this tune sound? Um, you're stepping on my cloth. Ark Knights. Doctor, did I bother you with my whistling? No? That's a relief to hear. What is the name of this piece? It's untitled. Just an improv piece I came up with in my spare time. Huh? You sure? What did I ever do to make you think I'm some kind of loyal bodyguard who wants to serve you all day and all heartily? <laughs> Getting cold feet? Sorry, but I've accepted your request. Remember, it was your choice, doctor. You heard? Enos and Hoderer are actually going to open a shop in Kazdel. I know the places they've been looking at. They're all shit heaps. But I guess my little revenant here could help mop the floors with his party tricks. His opinion? Let me ask. Oh, he's fine with that. Teresa and Amiya. Both of them love gazing off into the distance like that. I went and had a look myself, but there's nothing special out there. What are they always staring at? Hmm. I'm gonna figure it out someday. I haven't had a day of peace ever since I picked up this grumpy hunk of scrap metal. Can you imagine what it feels like to have an old undying geezer babbling on about the past right into your ear day in and day out? Oh, you do. Well, well, guess misery loves company, doctor. You want to work with my team? Do I look like a girl who'd fall for the same trick twice? Yeah, yeah, save the explanations. You know what you did. But be warned, my mercs pick their own roads now, while I'm gonna take out the scumbags who dare treat us like pawns. Should I start with you, doctor? How many sarcasm mercs just like me has her highness seen? Does she really remember all their names? Eh, whatever. Mine is the only one she picked herself. Oi! Say my name, Doctor. Weeshadel. Not some code name picked out of a pile of stiffs anymore. It's my name. Tch. How dare that little bunny boss me around? She thinks I'm gonna go along with it and be her errand girl, just cause she gives me that gentle look. Tch. Drop it. No one can be a second Teresa. Even that bunny does have some... Some... <sighs> Whatever. At least Rhodes Island's still moving, and all the naive dumbasses haven't died out yet. You seriously think we're getting along? Wanna guess what it is I'm holding right here? <laughs> Relax. It's fear you're gonna bear for what you did. Wouldn't be much fun to cash this thing out that easy. So, 
When are you gonna let your guard down again, doctor? I'm really looking forward to it. Evil spirit. Is the current you still qualified for that title? Doesn't matter how mysterious the soul boxed up in your little frame there is. You're a lot more... <laughs> honest than I thought. And I'd much rather put up with an idiot than waste my time with scum. You can sleep when I'm around, huh? How about we make sure you don't ever wake up? <laughs> Wish Adele. I sign my name here, right? Her Highness says this name means wishing for a home. I don't make wishes, though. Huh? My handwriting sucks? <laughs> Screw you. Who are you to judge? You don't have to prove anything to me with your videos. We'll see how you take advantage of people's lives. We'll see closely. Can't you come up with something new, Doctor? Other than this useless little garbage? Why don't you say, have Calcet sing me a song? <laughs> or if that's not sincere enough, you could join in. Give me a duet. I don't have the energy to waste on saving this land. I just want to kick in the military commission's front door and make lateran candles out of the guys inside. Then blow them sky high, spreading out into the Babel logo with 15 different colors. I'll send you an invite to the show. It's gonna be one for the ages, I guarantee. If I die here, use the pension to buy some roast potatoes for the gang. <laughs> Somebody's not happy with me as captain? <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. <sighs> These wonderful days just never end. Whose turn is it to get blown to bits today? The Revenant's babbling again. Son of a gun's got a filthy mouth. So you racked your brain and came up with a plan of plopping me here. Bravo. Wow, looks awfully dangerous. You call me out for this? Trash the mission briefing. I know what you want. Poor little guy. It's your unlucky day. Now, now, wait in line. We got plenty for everyone. Always so focused on the ground. But have you forgotten to look above? Boom! Who says there's always a countdown? What a thrilling battle. Now what does this doctor standing next to me think, looking out over the battlefield? Nah, save it. I'm not all that interested. Do you like my nails? Guess what I used to paint them. You're not happy with the results, doctor? How about we blow the whole place up? Burn everything for a bonfire? Wouldn't that light you up? No? Hmm, shame. That was pathetic, Doctor. We might just die here today. It's what we deserved, right? <laughs> you scared? Then follow me close. Step only where I step. Otherwise, today might actually be the end. If no one's gonna do anything about this door, I'll just fix it myself. Hey, Revenant, get the hell out here and start working. Finally ready to die? What's up? You bored? I got some fun things we could do. But don't blame me if you end up... dead. Arknights. Oh, joy. There's your face again, Doctor. What a great start for the day.